So rocking the nice and easy side to side. Keep moving your small circles. All right, get that lower back all loosened up for the day, always. And you can even do, you can let your knees come forward and then you can hug them into your chest a little bit tighter just to stretch out that lower back. You can even have your legs be wide and you can rock side to side. It's really up to you. Then you can hug right leg to your chest, left leg will be out straight and you're gonna go side to side there. So we're just kicking our leg out, we're squeezing and you're starting to think about that lower back, making sure it's staying down to the ground. But if you wanna have one foot down on the ground at all times, you can. <laughs> Right, so doing whatever feels good to you and sticking to it. So you're gonna have about one more to each leg and then you're gonna have one leg up straight, doesn't matter which one. You'll grab behind the hamstring or calf and we're gonna alternate there. Ooh, my hamstring's a little bit slower today, so I'm gonna move slow. So taking your time, you can even add a double pull. So if you wanna pull, pull and switch, you could. It's really up to you and how you feel and trying to keep that back down as we're stretching and going side to side, right? Mm -hmm. We got a good ab workout today. All, all the ab moves and you just keep on adding and adding and adding. Doesn't that sound fun? It's like math and Pilates. So one more to each leg and then you're gonna relax those legs down and we're gonna get into some minor core bracing here. So keeping your feet down you're gonna press your lower back down to the ground. So making sure that your back is nice and flat to the ground, your core is tight, you're gonna inhale in, and you'll bring your right leg towards you, exhale, comes down. So you're doing a marching motion, keeping your head down and keeping that core nice and tight. So as you're doing that, it shouldn't feel super, super hard, but you should start to feel those core muscles starting to wake up. And we're gonna to add to this in just a second. So. You're gonna have your hands behind your head. As you pull your leg towards you, you're gonna crunch. Your head comes down, that leg comes down. Crunch, bring the leg towards you and back. So you're still keeping that back down, even as that leg comes down, right? It's easy to keep the back down when you crunch and you wanna keep those elbows wide and taking your time. So it's like you're gonna knee yourself in the nose and come back, okay? And we're gonna go about 15 seconds here. Just going side to side making sure you're breathing, right? And you're just feeling good, of course. So you got 10 seconds. And we'll go one more to each side here. One, here's two. On your next motion, you're gonna hold your crunch and you're gonna bring your left leg into tabletop and you're just gonna exhale, kick that leg up, inhale, it comes back down. So we're holding that crunch as we're kicking that leg. If you wanted to have your head down, if your neck felt really tight, you could, but if you can hold that crunch, go ahead and try to, right? So we're trying to work on some nice flexibility and core work at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna do two more kicks here. There's one, here's two. Your left leg will be down, feeling that crunch. Right leg's in tabletop, we're kicking up and back. So every time you kick that leg up, try to point and squeeze. You might even feel a stretch through that hamstring. That's okay, right? You're stretching it, right? And of course, by this point, your abs should be burning, right? Because if they're not, I don't know, something might be wrong with you. You might have abs of steel, robot, robot abs. So you got two more here, here's one, here is two. You're gonna bring your head down, but your legs are gonna be in tape. Keeping our core braced. You're gonna inhale in, exhale, we're gonna kick up both legs. Nice, easy inhale coming back, right? So you wanna try to kick directly straight up, right? If you're keeping your core tight, your legs aren't gonna fall down, right? So you're gonna be waking up those hip flexors here. Right, and of course we'll add to this in about 10 seconds. Right, it's all about add -ups today. I tell you, you're gonna hear me say add to this about every second. Okay, so we got one more here. So now, as our legs kick up, you're gonna lift into a crunch. And so you're gonna inhale in, exhale, crunch and lift, kick, and back. So every time you lift, kind of for a second, keep that core tight, right? Push that back down, and you're just feeling good about it, right? And hopefully my internet doesn't go out. I just said internet is not stable. If it does, I'll be back, I promise. You'll just keep doing ad moves for like six minutes. Okay, so we're gonna do about five more here. Here's one, here is two, here is three, here is four. We're gonna go one more, here is five, and you're gonna relax. 
we're going to kind of start getting into these moves because they start each as a warm-up move and then we build into it. So our first move today is going to be a roll up, right? So you've got your legs out straight, you're rolling up, and you're coming back down. So if it felt like it was hard for you to roll up, you could put something in your hands, act like you're going to throw it, and roll up and down. And of course, you could just do a crunch up instead, right? So go ahead and go. We're just rolling up and back. Right, that's simple enough. You can handle that. So we're gonna do each move for 30 seconds and every 30 seconds we add to it, okay? So I'll show you how to modify if you need to, right? And I'll show you how to just keep rolling through so we don't take too many breaks, right? You don't wanna take a break while you work out. So we got about one more here and then we're gonna add to it, okay? So what you're gonna add to it as you roll up you're gonna bring a leg up. So you'll roll up, leg comes up and you catch it, you'll come down. So if you do the roll up first and then add your leg, it's a little bit easier. If you roll up and bring your leg up at the same time, it's harder, right? So you'll roll, catch a leg, come back, right? So if you were modifying, you would just do a crunching march like we did during the one, right? So I still have my timer going. You still keep to cooking there, okay? So you're doing a great job here. We've got about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go for both legs. Oh yeah, I said it, okay? So one more to each leg. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna roll up, you're gonna lift both legs, your legs will come down, you'll come down, right? So you'll roll up, then you lift, then you come back and down. If you wanna make it harder, you would lift those legs as you roll up, right? But rolling up and lifting will work those muscles that same way. Okay, and keep on going there. If you're modifying, you'll crunch, you'll bring your legs towards you, they would come down, you would come down. Right, but if you're rolling up and lifting both legs, you keep cooking. We got 15 seconds. Okay, so keep hanging on, keep moving through. Try not to let those legs slam down. They're gonna feel heavy after a while, you know. So on your next move, you're gonna roll up, you're gonna lift those legs and you're gonna hold, right? So you could have one leg up, one leg down, right? If you're modifying, just hold that crunch, but we're gonna hold here for about 15 seconds. So try to stay nice and tall, right? Put a foot down at any point if you need to. Keep breathing, look slightly up. You have 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, relax, right? Oh yeah, that's a good warm up. Okay, so next circuit here you can have both legs in tabletop and we're going to do our slow and control crunch right so exhale up inhale back if you're modifying you'll have one foot down okay go for it so exhale lift inhale back keeping those elbows as wide as you can right that is our goal to hold on to that posture right and to let your head your hands because we want our abs to help us roll up not pull on our neck and that is a hard thing to learn but oh. so we got 10 seconds until we add right and if you're modifying pretty much at any point you just put one foot down on the ground okay it doesn't matter if you switch really okay so now you're going to crunch and kick out at a v your head comes down your leg comes back crunch and kick out and back right if you needed to crunch and kick more up towards the ceiling you of course can and if you're modifying, you have that foot down, okay? But we're still crunching and kicking. You're keeping that back down. Exhale, kick. Inhale, back, right? We're still not pulling on that neck. In 10 seconds, we will add, okay? So keep moving through. It doesn't mean you have to go fast, right? You're going to get the same benefit going fast, but not, well, don't go slow. You, or you could go super, not fast. I meant slow. Whatever. Words are hard on Friday. So your next motion you're gonna crunch and kick, your legs will come wide, they'll come back, you come back to that starting point. So crunch and kick, wide, legs come back together, you come back in. So you're just adding one step, you'll crunch and kick, wide, back together, down in, right? Crunch and kick, wide, back together, down in. If you were modifying, you'd do the same thing, it's just one leg would go wide, right? And you'd come back in, okay? So keep on working. And 10 seconds, we go to the next step, right? How many steps are there to this one? Not enough, right? So on your next motion, you're gonna crunch. 
kick, you're gonna do small, little wide motions, pulsing. So really, really focus on the core. If you can be up in that crunch and it doesn't hurt your neck, stay there. If you need that head down, that's fine. Focus on your core. That is the most important thing. The lower you have your legs, the harder it is. Try to point those toes so you have those calves activated. You've got 10 seconds, and then we get a breather. You're almost there. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Oh, yes. Then we're going to go to our side. So we are going to build into a side plank. Everybody's favorite, right? So on this, your bottom leg is going to be bent, and you're going to keep that knee bent there. It's going to stay on that mat. So ideally, you're going to have that right hip off the ground, and your left leg would be out straight. If that hurts your hip or your knee, you just want to sit up high on that hip, and your hip could stay on the ground. Okay, so you're gonna be up in your plank here and you're just gonna lift your top leg up and down. Right, so kind of go with how it feels. If you need that hip down, that's fine. Just stay really elevated and high up on that right shoulder. Okay, so keep on breathing, keep on lifting. Trying to keep that leg as straight as you can. I promise, even if you modify, you'll feel this. So in five seconds, we're gonna act. Okay, so now you're gonna kick your leg forward and back. So when you kick forward, don't kick too far, because if you do, you'll probably fall over, right? So a small motion is perfect. Keep breathing, keep holding, right? And we're gonna go into a combo move here in five seconds. Okay, so your combo move, you're gonna kick up, go forward, right? Kick up, come down, forward. So the good news is you only have 10 seconds left of this, right? Keep hanging on to it, lifting, forward, right? Lifting forward we got two more up down forward back one more up down forward back hold right here just for a little bit right so try to hold in that plank keep that leg out straight if you needed it down on the ground you can right it's okay you got 15 seconds right here your shoulders probably burning right 10 seconds keep breathing we've got five four three two one Relax. All right. One side down. So now we're going to go to our left side. So same thing. Left knee is bent. Our right leg's out straight. Okay. We're going to be up in that plank if you can. And we're just lifting that top leg up and back. All right. So we're just lifting up and back. My watch tried to freeze on me. What a cruel joke. Okay. So we have 10 seconds until we kick forward. Right, try and hang on to that. Remember, if you modify that hip is down, you're just staying up nice and tall. It's still gonna work that oblique. I promise, I promise. Okay, so now you're gonna kick forward and back. So remember, it doesn't have to be a huge forward motion. On this side, I can kick a little bit further, right? I don't know, must be on my good side now. Okay, so we've got about 10 seconds until we combo. Okay, keep breathing, take your time with each movement. You're almost there. Okay, so now we combo. We lift up, come down, kick forward, and back. Up, down, forward, back, right? So we're getting our glutes and our core here together. This is a tough move. A lot is working together to keep you in this movement, okay? You have about 10 seconds until we have our hold. So keep breathing, keep holding, keep enjoying it, right? Uh-huh, I can tell that's what you're gonna say. Right, you're almost there, right? We got about five seconds, so one more each way, and then we're gonna hold. So remember, that right leg could be down to the ground. Rest that toe and hold that plank. If you want it harder, that leg is up. So keep on holding, keep on maintaining, right? Your hip can even be down and you can be stretching and kicking that leg out. Keep on breathing. I know these are your favorite. You got 10 seconds here. Okay, and then we get to go back to our back, so that's good news. You've got five, Four, three, two, one, relax. Woo, there goes our glutes. All right, and then we're gonna be on our back. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna build into a flutter kick. So with the flutter kick, I want you to have both legs up straight to start with, and you have the choice. Your head can stay down, or you can be up in a crunch, right? It's whatever feels good to you. But your first motion, I want you to watch your ankles and your knees. So we want to kick from our hip. If you point your toes, it's going to make sure they move as a unit. 
So you just want to start, your ankles are literally just passing each other. So it's, you're barely kicking right here, right? It's a small kind of a leisure kick. Okay, and you're just kicking right there, focusing on your core. So remember that head can be down, right? And this should, it's gonna be challenging, but it shouldn't feel like the worst thing you've done so far today. After those side planks, this should feel kind of nice. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're gonna go a little bit bigger. Okay, so now you're gonna have your calves or your shins pass each other. So it's just slightly bigger, right? Don't make it too crazy. Watch those legs, they're just gonna pass each other. Okay, you're still keeping that back down. You're still breathing. And now you're gonna see if you can have your knees pass each other, right? So if you got to a point where you're like, nope, I can only do calves or ankles, that's fine. Maintain right there and focus on your core. But if you can have your knees pass each other the whole time, keep on cooking, because in five seconds, we're gonna go as large as you can. Okay, so now you wanna try to go as large as you can, right? So full legs would pass each other or just go where you feel like you can control and maintain it, right? You're keeping the core tight, you're breathing, you've got 20 seconds, right? Oh, that's kind of scary, until you get a breather, okay? 15 seconds, keep hanging on to it, keep kicking, 10 seconds, you're almost there, you've got five, four, three, two, one, relax, all right, hug your knees, Rack side to side, right? Give your core a break for a second. Breathe. Ah, breathing is good for you. Okay, so what we're gonna do here next, you're gonna have your right leg in tabletop. Your left leg is gonna be out straight. So we're gonna do a single sided crunch. You're gonna go left elbow, right leg. So you're just gonna crunch over and back. So left leg is out straight on the ground. Go for it. So you're just gonna crunch over and back. Right, and you're just really going a full range of motion, nice and controlled, right? Your core is gonna be burning. You're gonna feel this tomorrow and Sunday, and that's all right, I don't care. Mm. Uh-huh, yeah, I know that's what you guys were thinking too. So now what you're gonna do, as you crunch over, you're gonna kick that right leg out, right? You come back, your right leg comes back. Crunching, kick, and back. So on this, if your left leg out straight, if that was hurting your back, you could bend that left knee, right? And it'll support that back a little bit more. It's really up to you, but you're crunching and kicking and coming back, right? Crunch and kick and come back. Okay, so more like this. Uh-huh, that's fun, right? You got three, we'll do two more. It's one, here it is two. So now we're gonna switch sides. So if you can, that right leg is out straight, Left leg's in tabletop, you're gonna go right elbow, left leg. You're just crunching over and back. And remember, if your right leg out straight just really doesn't feel good to your back, you can bend that knee and bring it closer to your body and it'll make it a little bit nicer on your back. It won't make it nicer on your abs, but your back will like it more, right? Mm -hmm. So we got three more until we kick up. So two more, here's one, here's two. Okay, so now next one, we crunch over, Kick that left leg up as straight as you can and come back. Crunch and kick and back, right? Crunch and kick and back. Lots of body coordination here. Crunch and kick and then come back. Crunch and kick and back. You're doing a great job, right? Still working through that motion. We've got five more. Here's one, coming back. Here's two, coming back. Here's three, coming back. Here's four, coming back. Here's five, coming back. So you know, the last move of this set, your legs are gonna be in tabletop and we're gonna do an alternating motion. So you'll crunch, your right leg will kick up, your left leg will come down. You come back and you're gonna alternate which leg is kicking up and back, right? So if you were modifying, you would just alternate which leg kicks up and always have a foot down on the ground. So ready? And go, so you'll crunch, you'll kick your right leg up, left leg out, you'll come down. Crunch, left legs up, right legs out. So you're kind of going into an L-shaped motion with your legs. And if you're modifying, you would just have a foot down, right, and you can come back to that tabletop position. Okay, so keep maintaining there, keep breathing, use that exhale as you come up, right? You're rocking and rolling. Again, if your neck was feeling really tight, don't feel like you have to do that crunch. I won't make you, 
It's gonna burn no matter what at this point. We have 15 seconds. And then we're almost done. We got one more series. Okay, you got 10 seconds. So we're gonna go two more to each side. Here's one. Here come back. Here's two. Coming back, two more. One. Coming back. Here's two. And relax. So we're gonna be in a seated position for this last move. And we're gonna work on going into a Pilates teaser. Doesn't that sound fun? So we're gonna start up top instead of down below. So our first move we're gonna do, your arms are gonna be out straight. You're just tilting back as far as you feel you can, and then you're gonna come back up. And it doesn't even have to be that far, okay? So try and keep your gaze somewhat up towards the ceiling. You'll tilt back, and then you're gonna come back up, okay? So it's just nice and controlled, right? Keep it in a range of motion that feels good to you. So don't feel like you have to tilt back super, super far, right? Because if you go back too far, you have to come back up. Yeah, that's something to think about. Okay. So on our next motion, you're going to stay tilted back. And you're just going to bring your right leg up to a tabletop and back. Right leg up and back. So we're not alternating as tempting as it is, I know. Right, you're just bringing that right leg up and back, up and back, okay? You're doing a great job. Still keeping that gaze slightly ahead. You're gonna feel your core, your lower back is gonna be working too. You've got two more here. Here's one, here's two. Okay, so right leg stays down, left leg is coming up and back, right? Up and back. So still holding on to that motion. Keep on breathing, right? And I bet you can't guess what's gonna come after this. <laughs> Yeah, both legs soon. So we got three more. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. So now, still staying back here. If you want to come forward, just quickly for that lower back, you could, right? And then get back in position. You're going to bring both legs up if you can, and then back, right? Both up and back. So with both, if you need a little more balance, you can even have your hands down by your hips, right? As long as you don't push into the ground too much, right? And you're just kind of rolling back to your tailbone and in, right? So that might not feel good to your tailbone if you have a sensitive tailbone. Some people do, not normal. Okay, and we're gonna get ready to hold here. So if at any point two legs feels like too much, you can always alternate going one leg at a time. Okay, but on your next motion, you're gonna pick those legs up, you're gonna hold, right? So you could have your hands by your hips still. So as you're holding here, you could stay here or you could straighten out those legs and hold it, right? So you're breathing, you're holding no matter what here, You've got a 15 second hold, and then we're all done for the day. Right, easy peasy, 10 seconds. Stay nice and tall, breathing. You have five, four, three, two, one, relax. There you go, a little cooler, just a little. Nice and quick, that's the way core should be.